an enterprise architecture-based information framework to overcome today's challenges. In recent videos, we spoke about enterprise architecture, the different needs in an enterprise and the typical challenges that might occur. This video introduces an information framework created by SAP with the intention to overcome these typical challenges. The information framework reflects different views on IT architecture from the various stakeholders in an enterprise. It provides four abstraction levels to illustrate the following perspectives. Strategies, application and technology capabilities, we call them IT capabilities, software products, and physical installation. Let's look into these levels in more detail. The strategy level names the major strategic factors that influence the overall IT architecture. This kind of information is usually reflected in an enterprise by the business strategy and the IT strategy, or for example more detailed in a UX or security strategy, depending on the specific area of interest. The emphasis of this level is to derive the IT-related strategic or tactical goals relevant for the IT architecture in question. It might also include business-related goals where necessary to reflect the business needs, however. As such, this level is for goals that provide concrete guiding principles for IT, but aligned with and driven by the business. Examples of goals at the strategic level could be improve user satisfaction, which drives guiding principles such as focus on SAP standard or allow adaptation of the SAP standard or allow developments of own applications to extend the SAP standard, depending on your IT preferred strategy. The IT capability level is where we collect the various capabilities needed to meet the goals described at the strategy level. Capabilities are functional requirements that need to be delivered later by an application or a product. This level targets the design principles of IT architecture in the enterprise at an IT-specific but still software product agnostic level. This includes a SAP agnostic view as well. Examples of capabilities are responsive UI, screen personalization, development environment, or change management. Software products is the level that summarizes the products and services that are necessary to deliver the capabilities collected earlier. We are obviously focusing on SAP products here. Examples of SAP products are SAP Fiori, SAP Gateway, SAP Screen Personas, or an SAP HANA Cloud Platform. HCP, which provides, for instance, valuable features such as SAP UI5 and SAP Web IDE. The lowest level of this framework targets all architecture-related decisions about the physical installation of software packages on hardware boxes, including possible virtualization layer in between. An example here might be a productive SAP ERP system named P11 that includes a SAP Application Server 7.4, a SAP ERP 6.0, and additional software packages for SAP Screen Persona 3.0 or SAP Fiori. As you can see, this framework captures a lot of information 
that can be used to create specific views in order to address the concerns of many stakeholders in your company. We call this views architecture viewpoints. In one of the upcoming videos, we will talk more about these viewpoints by showing a real life example of the UX space. So please stay tuned. If you like this video, let us know and leave a comment.